Once we created our first activity with the specific flows, we can go all the way back to the list of activities and create a second activity by clicking the Add Activity button. This time, we will create an actual youth exchange. From the drop-down menu, we choose Youth Exchange Program Countries because both our countries are program countries. Let's choose Country of Origin and Country of Destination. For the travel days, we will put two travel days. We will have 10 participants and now we actually have a breakdown of the group. So two participants with special needs, nine participants with fewer opportunities, no accompanying persons and one group leader. We already know that the distance band is 500 to 1,999 kilometers, and you can see that the total grant has been calculated for all 10 participants. Now, you have a new budget heading, which is organizational support, and it is also automatically calculated. Please bear in mind that you have a total number of participants that you have mentioned, and you can see that the same number is automatically included in travel and organizational support. These sections cannot be manually amended, so if by mistake you put five people, your organizational support grant will be reduced. If you don't notice these mistakes at the application stage, after the application has been submitted, the National Agency will not be able to provide you a chance to change the amount requested. Now we can request special needs support, because we said we have two participants with special needs support. Provide a detailed description potentially with a breakdown if you have more costs for the same participant. Request the amount that you think is relevant for the participants. If you entered more participants, you would get an error saying that it does not match with what you have stated above in the application. So, the first flow is now finalized and we carry on to create the second one. However, we have a small error saying that the duration of each flow, excluding travel time, needs to be at least five days because it is a youth exchange and I forgot to change the dates. So now going back and indicating that my activity will take place from the 1st of November to the 10th of November. There we go. Activity details. I have our first flow for the youth exchange. There are two errors. One is saying that I must have at least 16 participants in the entire project. So we will have to create our second flow. The dates must match so it will be from 1st of November to the 10th. We will have one travel day because we think that maybe young people will come from a bit further away than Helsinki. We enter 10 participants, one with special needs, nine with fewer opportunities, no accompanying persons and one group leader. In the distance band, we will put 10 to 99 kilometers, which will automatically provide the grant and the total grant, making sure that the numbers coincide. Again, it is at your own discretion whether or not you will be claiming travel costs for all participants. Special needs support, one person, and I can add a detailed description for them as well. I'm requesting support for them, but I don't want to claim any exceptional costs, so our second flow is done. All sections are marked green, and therefore the list of activities is finalized. If you want to see the budget for each of the sections, go into each activity, so A1 or A2. The breakdown of the budget requested is provided at the bottom. Let's review the list of activities. You can see that the youth exchange will have a much bigger budget. That's how we created two activities, one being an APV and the other one being a youth exchange and each having two flows. Please note the word activity, which is A1 and A2, refers to the specific mobility or exchange, while the word flows refers to the national groups attending each of the activities. Each activity must be added separately with specific flows. Further hints and tips. Any costs requested under special needs and exceptional costs must be justified as they are based on actual costs rather than unit costs. A clear breakdown should be given for all costs and each cost identified separately. You should ensure special needs and exceptional costs are requested against the correct activity. For example, if you are applying for accommodation costs for advanced planning visits and for visas for youth exchange participants, please do not put them under the same activity, for example, APV. They must be put under the correct activities, otherwise the costs may be deemed ineligible. Reinforced mentorship costs are only eligible under volunteering projects 
and must be justified and clear on the additional support to be provided. We expect that all participants receive some form of preparation and mentoring. Therefore, reinforced mentorship should be in addition to this and not in place of it. Ensure participant numbers are correct and consistent throughout the entire activity sections, flow by flow. After all activity and flows information has been created, check the final and total budget for accuracy. Make sure that what you see in this application form matches any documentation or any internal preparatory documents that you have done beforehand. Please refer to the guide for applicants for further details regarding the costs you can request under each budget heading, including special needs support and exceptional costs.